Hey guys, lately I posted a story about the servicing of the parking and emergency brake accumulator and in the messages I get several questions about the system. So I decided to make a video where I will try to explain you what is it good for and what is the difference between this accumulator and the hydraulic power accumulator. So let's take a look at it. where you can find brake accumulator. It is installed on the aft wall of the right wheel well. And now let's take a look how it looks inside of the accumulator. As you can see inside I have a gas chamber which is filled with the nitrogen and the fluid chamber which is filled with the hydraulic fluid. As you surely know gas is compressible and here bladder pressurized with the nitrogen works as a spring against the fluid. When the fluid chamber is not pressurized, the nitrogen pressure expands the bladder until it touches the poppet valve, which will cause close of the valve to keep bladder inside of the body. When the fluid chamber is pressurized, the bladder size decreases until the pressure in the gas and fluid chamber are equal. What is it good for? Basically, it's here to store hydraulic power for the brake operation in case of loss of hydraulic pumps. In the cockpit, next to the first officer, you can find a triple indicator on which you can see how much pressure is stored in the accumulator or how much pressure you applying to the brakes. Accumulator has a sufficient pressure for a minimum of 7 full operation of the brake pedals or the parking brake switch. When you're using the pedals, pressure is limited to 1000 psi. And for parking brake function, the pressure is limited to 2100 psi and accumulator has sufficient capacity to hold the brakes on for a minimum time of 12 hours. And whenever you switch on hydraulic power, the accumulator will charge back to 3000 psi. That was parking and emergency brake accumulator. And now we're gonna take a look on hydraulic power accumulator. We have three of them, one for each hydraulic system, and now I'll show you which one is where. This exact one belongs to yellow hydraulic system. Then we move to the left hydraulic compartment, where you can find one which belongs to the blue system. And the one for green we'll find in the wheel well compartment. Construction of these three accumulators is similar to the brake accumulator, except this one are a little bit smaller. They have volume around one liter. Let's take a look on their functions. The accumulator keeps the pressure in the system free from small changes. It also makes supply of the fluid available to replace a temporary decreases. It can occur if there is a sudden large demand and the pump had no time to adjust. This can happen during extension or retraction of the landing gear, extension or retraction of the flaps or movement of any kind of flight control. The power hydraulic accumulators are pre-charged with the nitrogen to around 1800 psi, which means that they can hold only 0.18 liters of usable fluid when they are full and pressurized to 3000 psi. And I guess now you understand why they are here just to compensate the decrease of the pressure in the hydraulic systems. So let's recap it. Hydraulic power accumulator is here as a prevention against the pressure fluctuations in the hydraulic systems. And the parking brake pressure accumulator is here as an independent power source for parking brake or brake system in case of hydraulic power failure. And this is the reason why they have different volume and different precharge pressure. Well, this is all what I want to show you guys today. If you have more questions, don't forget to write them down in the comments. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Bye.